up, YouTube? It's where the franchise guy come back at you again with another episode of Madden 19, my career featuring the greatest player of all time. And I mean, by far, hands down, the greatest football player, defensively, offensively, special teamsly of all time. If you could find me one player better than Chance Bishop, I'll give you a cool $20 bill. I will Venmo you $20 if you can find someone better than Chance Bishop. Alright? I mean, we're pretty dominant right now. I mean, we're probably the best defensive player in the league by tenfold. I mean, J.J. Watt who? But uh, taking on the... Uh, Cincinnati Bengals this time. Don't think we've taken on the Bengals so far in his career. No, actually, never mind. I believe we took on them once, like our second or third season. But yeah, no, a long time ago, we took on the Bengals. Right there, getting a sack on, I believe, Andy Dalton's still the quarterback. No, actually, it's Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is the brand new quarterback for this Bengals team, and I mean... What a fall from grace he had. He went from being the Packers, you know, best quarterback since Brett Favre, to uh, being on his lonely Bengals team. I mean, he's getting lit up right now by Chance Bishop. That's his second sack on the game. And I would not be happy if I was Aaron Rodgers right now just because how are you going to let someone like Chance Bishop get two sacks on you so quick? I mean, especially, you gotta know he's pass rushing all the time. He's, yes, he's listed as a linebacker, but he's not dropping in the coverage. Chance Bishop hasn't dropped in the coverage since his rookie season. And you really think, uh, they're gonna send a now almost 30 year old Chance Bishop to play coverage? No. You don't send DeMarcus Ware in the coverage. You don't put Von Miller in coverage. You send those guys to sack the QB. That's what he's doing. Day in, day out, sacking the QB. I mean, that's he's racking up sacks right now. No, no ifs, ands, or buts around it. Just getting a ton of, uh, ton of sacks in his career. Over 230 now, as you saw by the couple sacks, he has a 233rd sack of his career, which was a new NFL record. I believe every NFL record that uh, has to do with defense change, which probably is going to break. It's probably not tackles, because that's a lot of tackles you got to get. And, uh, we don't get that many tackles a year for some reason. We get, like, 60 tackles, maybe, if we're lucky. But I would, I would think we get more tackles by just how often we get the pass rushers saying that we get, like, 40, 50 sacks. I mean, unless I think of it differently, I'm pretty sure sacks and should we count as tackles, too? Just, like, a home run is kind of as a hit, an RBI, and a run scored, and a home run. I always kind of thought sack was a tackle and a sack, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe a tackle is just for like a running back or a scrambling QB, not a QB who's being sacked in the pocket. Because that's its own little area right there. Who knows? I'm not a mathematician. I'm not a, I'm not a sports guy that does all this stuff. But going against the Bucks right now, I mean, Bucks, we've always killed the Bucks. Always, always, always have killed the Bucks. Playoffs, regular season, doesn't matter. We've always showed up against this team. And uh, hopefully show up again this time. I mean, all we got to do is just salvage this season. I'm not saying win out, make the playoffs. I'm saying just make it respectable. 7-9, 8-8, eight and eight, you know, 10-7. Or 10-7, 9-7. I mean... We're not making the playoffs by any stretch of the means. We just got to make this season somewhat respectable. Just do it for the kids. When all else, uh, sh all you have to do is just do it for the kids. But uh, Pete Carroll, looking like guy, is the coach down here in Tampa. But playing at home though for the Eagles is always a good sign. You, you know, when you want, when you want to win as an Eagle, always gonna go home. Your number one bet on winning is going home. Don't know why. Just that if you're an eagle, 
Philly Flyers Sixer. Best place for you to be is on your home field. I mean, it's just the way the crowd gets into it's always different than it is on the road. And there's no such thing as a sold out playoff game where there is more fans of the opposing team than there are Phillies fans or Philadelphia fans. You know, I went to uh, the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 52 against the Patriots. It was a home game for the Eagles. There were more Eagles fans in Philly, in uh, Minnesota than there were any other fan by far. But uh, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe the Eagles will start looking to uh, sign some real free agents finally, not, you know, trying to nickel and dime people, letting all the premier talent walk away. I mean, sure, we had Lane Johnson and Malcolm Jenkins, who played for a bunch of seasons. I know Lane Johnson's still actually on the Bucks right now, but uh, Eagles, Eagles let them walk for younger, cheaper pieces just for some whatever reason. Who knows? Try to keep Jay Ajayi's contract around, even though we really don't need his contract. I mean, heck, you saw what I did in my franchise where we signed... JJ and then we flipped him for picks because that was the smartest idea we had at the time. But who knows? Take on the Falcons right now. Falcons, uh, we've played the Falcons a couple of times. Not that's that we've played them a bunch. Just say we played them like two or three times, mostly in the playoffs, I think. Maybe once in the regular season. I'm not entirely sure because I can't remember that far. I really don't remember that far at all. But, I mean, gotta do what we gotta do. Look at, these, look at these little intros. See, they, much as I play this game, every time I find a new, like a slightly new intro animation, I'm always surprised. Like, one of the times where, you know, since I don't play the Falcons that often, I've never really seen their intro animations. So, that was really cool to see their little, like, run out of tunnel animation. But you know, I'm just geeking out now about a, a video game, not a, not even real life, just a video game, because that's the kind of person I am. But look at that. First quarter, I mean, first yeah, first quarter right there, probably first drive, four. Mariah is going to throw an interception right there. Uh, Peck of the course hurt for the four billionth time this season, I mean... Why do we even play him anymore? He just keeps getting hurt and hurt and hurt, and it doesn't help the team that he's hurt. It doesn't help anyone that he's not playing. He's just sidelined because he's hurt. But, uh... Who knows? And we're going to fall out with a sack on the next drive right there, 240 left, and... Uh, it's actually Prathner, not even Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan's like in the uh, quarterback of the Falcons, and it's Prathner. You know, what's a Prather, number three right there, like that? That's a sack right there. That's a real boy sack. His 239th career sack. I mean, he's getting that 300 mark, hands down. There's no easy way about it as he gets 240 right there. Look at that. Look at that little dance. Look at that cute little dance. I mean, look what we're doing to him. We're just... Chasing him down, get him from behind. Like he's trying to roll out, and he's just not fast enough for that. He just takes it, he stops, absorbs it, because he knows he's not gonna, he's not gonna outrun Chance Bishop. I mean, you could run, but you're just gonna get sack tired. Like that right there, just tries to roll out of the pocket, rolls right into Chance because he knew that pocket was collapsing. Just doesn't have time, doesn't have the space to get there. I mean, on the goal line, not even on the goal line now, beating goal line offensive line right there, where we should be getting double teamed, where, you know, we're not. We're getting let in for our 50th tackle of the season. 240th career sack. Definitely closing on sack number 300 for our career. Ah. Who knows? Maybe we'll do something uh, meaningful with our career. See that nice little behind the back tackle right there. I know, I've seen a lot of those where they don't get counted as tackles for me. It's pretty annoying because that's definitely a tackle for chance right there. You're just taking it away for whatever reason. 
Maybe because you don't like him, maybe because he's too good, maybe because he doesn't need all these tackles. But he definitely gets credit for tackles that he doesn't make, and he doesn't get the credit for tackles he does make. But who knows? Like, that, uh... The best one is, like, uh, running backs will be taken down from behind, and there'll be a guy in front of him, but they'll credit the guy in front of him with a, with a solo tackle, not a combined tackle, even though... James Bishop did the majority of the work by literally jumping on his back to slow him down. So it's gonna be whatever it needs to be. Just so uh just so everyone's happy. Just so Chance can get his way with things. I don't know. Do not know how this game works still. Because yeah, at one point we were having problems where every entire episode sacks weren't being counted. So I had five or so sacks that just weren't counted, and it's kind of frustrating that happens. That's uh, what was it when the quarterback tries to run forward and he falls forward, even if he's sacked, it's not a sack because he fell forward, which I always thought was really dumb because I didn't get any tackles for it, didn't get any sack for it or anything for it, just literally a wasted play. Thought was for Bishop, just no point of him even trying to continue to. Do well when they weren't going to count his stats. Look at that. Forcing the pressure right there. Going to be a pick six by Ono Dixon. And I mean, he's the best corner in the league, hands down. If you're saying there's a better corner in the league than Ono Dixon, then you're probably thinking of a real-life cornerback, not a, not this video game. Because this video game's best quarterback is Ono Dixon. And I mean... For computer generated player, he's done really well that's keep up around Darby on tackles and interception rates and all that fun stuff. So I mean if worse comes to worse, uh, Dixon was a Ronald Darby esque player, wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Would not be a bad thing at all. But end up winning this one handsomely though, thirty eight to fourteen, and just win every step possible. Passing, Russian turnovers, uh, you know, number one in all of them. I'm going to take on the uh, Baltimore Ravens right now to end up this episode. I guess it's going to be Ravens, then it's going to be awards, just because I know we're not getting any promotion, we're not getting a playoff berth or anything. It's literally just going to be playing the Ravens, seeing the awards, and end of the season right here. Moving on to the next season, it's all we got to look forward to, because this team is pretty bad, and who wants to play for a team that is this bad, is poorly managed. I get Jeffrey Lurie has poured his heart and soul on this team, and he's been the owner for a long time. He won this team a Super Bowl, and then he signed Chance Bishop, you know, with the help of Hallie Roseman, and then they won multiple Super Bowls. I mean, multiple Super Bowls. With an M right there. Consecutive multiple Super Bowls. Four in a row to be fair. But. With a chance of losing your best. Defensive player. I don't think there's any doubt in the mind. That the Eagles will have to open up the pocketbooks. For a long term deal. But problem is. I'm not looking for a long term deal. I'm looking for really a short term deal. Just so I can. Uh, get my 300th career sack as an Eagle. And I can move on to greener pastures. But it is whatever. It is whatever, my dude. Just uh, getting sacks here, getting sacks there. Because we're uh, the NFL sack leader and we broke our own record. But we end up dropping this one 20 to, 20, uh, 20 to 13. I mean, eh, not the greatest performance right there by this Eagles team. I want to blame the snow, even though Lamar Jackson, who I guess is a running quarterback, had loads of no problem throwing the ball because you know, he doesn't throw. But MVP Chance Bishop number one. Of course, he's what? Three consecutive time MVP. Two or three consecutive times for MVP award. Coach year goes to Pat Shermer. Looking for any Eagles coach rate on this list. Uh, we will not find any. Offensive oh, player of the year. I mean, any Eagles for this one? No Eagles. Defensive, of course, goes to Chance Bishop on a 7-9 team. I mean, 
offensive rookie that's a defensive rookie of the year. I mean, we did our best. Really sweat it out with the guys. And I mean we related to uh everyone, you know? But finish up these awards right here. John Ross is at Packer now, he came up from the Bengals, probably got traded for Aaron Rodgers. I mean, Odell is still a giant. He probably retired as a giant to end his career. I mean, Travis Frederick is an eagle. That's the first time I actually noticed right there is that Travis Frederick was an eagle. But an O-line, ah, no eagles, no one cares. Best linebacker, of course, Chance Bishop, because or the hands down the best not just linebacker player in the league. Yes, we deserve MVP. We deserved uh, best linebacker. Problem is, you need an actual face to be the king. So yeah, they put uh, the new king as the king. But Pro Bowl looking right, right here. Same old, same old. Uh, player wise, Todd Gurley, Saquon, uh, John Ross, Anthony Munoz, Devontae Adams. Um, yeah, I don't know. Will Hernandez, Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, and uh, there you go. That is the pretty much the entire Pro Bowl roster right there. But you know, Chance Bishop, of course, best linebacker, number one linebacker of both teams. I mean, can't compete with him at all. Not physically, not mentally, not anything. You cannot compete with Chance Bishop. But if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that comment button, hit that subscribe button. I do reply to every comment. So any question, comment, rude remark you want to make, just hit me up. I'll respond back to you. Um, I do pride myself on getting back to fans and viewers alike. But definitely like, comment, subscribe. Check the playlist down below in case you have missed an episode. And peace out. Rock on YouTube. And most importantly, Make sure you guys stay classy.